Okay, guys. So last episode, we did a bunch of smithing and finished the uh, giant dwarf quest. This episode, I am going to continue down the optimal quest list. And we're going to start with another slice of ham for the uh, cheap ancient mace protection for the God Wars dungeon. And then we're going to probably get into these uh, Mauritania quests. So... I'm going to go ahead and get started with another slice of ham. It's a short quest, according to the guide, and I should be easy to defeat these few bosses with my levels, so we'll go ahead and get going. Sweet, and now we are going to introduce the tribes to each other, so we're getting about... I feel like this is halfway through the quest. Okay, gotta kill these rangers and mages, but luckily... I forgot my staff because I th for some reason thought Draymond's staffs could auto cast, but it's okay because I brought enough air runes. Okay, now we just have to free Zanuck. Hopefully, we can do this. Okay, there we go, freeing Zanuck. Now I just need to finish up the quest. There we go, another slice of ham. Quest completed. Perfect. And I get the ancient mace. And 40 prayer. Awesome. Okay, perfect. That gives me protect from missiles as well. That's going to be so great for questing. Man, these have been some really cool, good upgrades. Um, Now, according to the guide, I need to do some of these Mauritania quests. So I'm going to get going on these three. Um, I don't think I should have any issues. Um, we'll see though. So I'm going to start with in search of the Mirkui and we'll get going from there. Okay, so before I do this quest, I need to get a bunch of steel weapons. Frankly, just going to make them because I think I have enough leftover iron ore and stuff to make it so why not all right well i got everything i need so now i can start the quest oh no a vampire is attacking us whatever will we do i'm sure it'll be on me to save everyone i was an idiot and didn't have gear ahead of time to fight it so now i have to uh go do the walk of shame Okay, I got my magic gear and found the safe spot, so this should go pretty easy now. Okay, this should be the end of the quest. And then we can move on to the next one. There we go, 600 and a ton of different skills. I don't think I get a level off that. Oh, no, I did. 45 defense and 44 hit points and crafting. Wow, I actually got way more levels than I thought I would. Almost... 26 well 26 away from 1000 total level well now i'm supposed to do shades of morton so we will go ahead and do this on the shades of morton world so that way i don't have to struggle too much but yeah i'm gonna go ahead do this um i'm pretty certain we'll figure it out Okay, I have all of my gear, everything I need, and I have my quest guide helper open. Now, all I need to do is switch to a Shades of Morton world if they have them on old school. Doesn't look like it. Interesting. Well, I'll have to figure it out, I guess. Anyways, I'm going to get going on this quest. Okay, so I am boarding the boat, and then when I get down there, we will go ahead and get done with Shades of Morton. So, I figured out there is a world for Shades of Morton, so I would recommend hopping there, or it's the Morton Temple. And so this way, if you hop here, you don't have to worry about building the temple yourself, because there should be tons of other people here doing it. So I'm going to go ahead, do the quest, and should make it pretty easy. Oh, I realized I didn't say the world. It's 377. Sorry. That is the world to do Shades of Morton on, it looks like. Okay, so I made a Serum 208, which I believe 
this makes it so he should never change back. Awesome. And then now the quest should. Oh, I used it on the wrong guy. Oh, that's awkward. Okay, there we go. Used it on the right guy this time. And there is the quest 2K Crafting 2K Herbalore. Sweet. So, based off the guide, the next I need to do is in aid of the Mirkwi. So, I don't think this should be too bad. Um, Doesn't look like it. I think I should have pretty much everything I'll need. We'll figure it out. I think I'm going to have to do this, and then soon I'm probably going to have to go ahead and... Uh, do more rune crafting because I'm running low on runes. Okay, guys. So before I get going on this quest, I have to get a long list of things. So I have to get, I have the steel bars. I think I have most of this stuff. Uh, the first things I'm going to need to go get, though, are the raw mackerel and the 44 nails and 11 planks. So I'm going to go ahead, chop some wood, um, just do some stuff, and get that now. Okay, so I got more swamp paste and planks. I just went to the builder store in um, Morton. They're permanently unlocked now, so I don't have to worry about a sand fuse serum every time. And I did get all the mackerels. So I do believe I have everything else. Uh, yeah, I got 10 bronze bars. And I think we have... Okay, no, I do need to get nails. So... Don't know if it's better off just to make some or what, but I'm just going to go buy some over here. So we'll go buy some and then we can get going on the quest. Okay, so I am going to use the fairy rings to get there, but I just want to say this is the best idea ever is to just unlock the fairy rings. You can get to this point in the quest without actually having finished the quest. It, it's just, it's so important. It makes it life-changing to get around old school runescape um the early game on old school walking around is just so unfun so if you're considering making an iron man or just an account in general on old school two things i highly recommend just going for uh full graceful and the fairy rings trust me it'll change your life and that's when the game to me at least became a little more enjoyable um i do think that frankly old school could use from a little bit more quality of life but you know i work outside of youtube so i don't have time to just play runescape 30 hours a day <laughs> you know just something to think about anyways i'm gonna get going with the quest <laughs> okay so i did not read ahead of time that it is mackerel or raw snail meat, uh, but I got lucky and it is mackerel, so it's random for each player, but I do need to make the axes, so I came over here to Barak because I can just use the fairy ring to get back there, and we'll go ahead and make the axes. Get that going, and on from there. Awesome, now I just need to fix the bank booth, so... And I don't have to run as far away. So that'll be cool. It'll really save time. Just being able to use the bank here. Hopefully I have everything else I need. Oh boy, I realized I didn't have any steel bars. But luckily I have the magic level to do super heat. So I can just make these here. Cool, now I just have to do some temple trekking. I'm going to choose the easier, longer path. Uh... This makes more sense for me. There we go. There's the end. Uh, two quest points. Access to temple trekking. Access to bird rot. 2k XP in attack, defense, strength, and crafting. Awesome. So there is, ooh, 47 attack. The other levels. 57 total combat level. Awesome. Oh, and I'm at 976 total level. Cool. So I'm going to figure out what I want to do next and I will let you guys know.
Okay, so I was doing a lot of research, and I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna keep following this guide as I have been, and I am going to unlock Bone Voyage. So the reason we need to do this quest is it unlocks Fossil Island, which at 25 construction, I can start doing birdhouse runs, um, 23 if I boost. So I'm going to start by doing that, and we'll go ahead and get that out of the way and see where we end up. So I needed 100 kudos, which I definitely already have, and I should be okay to go. So again, we're going to use the Runelight plugin as it just makes it way too easy. So I'm going to go ahead and get going on this quest, and I'll be back hopefully with the quest finished. I should have Marantil in my bank, and the vodka is the only thing I'm going to have to figure out where to get. Okay, I was right. I do have some Marantil in the bank, so I just need the one, and should be good to go. Okay, so I figured out where to get the vodka. I have to get it here in Tree Gnome Village, or Stronghold, from Heckle Bunch, uh, which he is on the first floor all the way to the east over near the bar. Um, but yeah, this is the bar where you go for the bar crawl, but I do believe we now have everything. So off I go to get the quest done. So this should be a quick quest. Shouldn't take too long. Um, if I remember right, yeah, it's a short quest, and I think short is exaggerating it. So we'll go ahead and get this done. Okay, so while I'm making my way over there, uh, Fossil Island in Old School is basically Anachronia in RS3, except... Um, it's a bit more of an old school feel. So just like in RS3, it involves the uh, museum and there's tons of stuff to do there. The primary things are, I believe, the living wyverns and the birdhouse runs, which birdhouse runs are a passive way to train hunter where all you have to do is uh build birdhouses and kind of like a farming run you check the birdhouses on the island and you get them done so we'll go ahead and get this quest done get it out of the way and yeah so i don't think i explained that too well but hopefully you guys got the gist of it you build birdhouses and you get passive hunter xp Oh man, I'm so glad I did some of these quests because I have to go all the way to the woodcutting guild and yeah, that's 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 not fun to walk there without this. So this should be good. I have this teleport and now I can just really run south and get there. So I'm going to work my way there and we'll see how this goes. Apparently... Noah knows how to navigate, so I have to go get a navigator, I believe. So, yay, more walking. So glad I got teleports. But we're getting close to being done with this quest, hopefully. You know, this is such a RuneScape quest because you, you literally just give them booze and they're so skittish to say all that they need a charm to ward off. Stuff. It is just such a RuneScape quest. It's actually, I mean, I mean I'm not reading it too much because it's not really my thing, but it is kind of a comedic quest in some points. This is the worst form of navigation I have ever experienced. And I don't know who designed it, but I hate them. Oh my god, that is done! Holy crap, that was horrible! I, I Maybe I'm just bad at video games, but oh man, I mean I am bad at video games, but that was not fun. Um, but now I can get here, so that is perfect. So we'll go ahead, get off the boat, and there we go, we are at Fossil Island. 
So, unfortunately, I can't do anything here. I need to get my construction level up. So, I think that's what I'm going to work on next episode. I'm going to probably have to get some cash somehow, and then we'll make all the oak logs I chopped into planks and some of the regular logs and get my construction to 23 or 25 for birdhouse runs. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.